Hello everybody, welcome hey guys. back to 3 Dudes. My name is Inferno390 and this is my good friend who says what? And today we are going to be doing some magic gathering for you guys. Now today, instead of doing our regular deck and duel, which I know we've only done a couple episodes of it, so it's not really regular yet or anything, but instead of doing that, which um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do something a little different. We're going to do a Winston draft, which is a special type of two-person drafting that you can do with, your, with a friend if you have one. Okay. No, no, no. Okay, if, packs. You can do with a friend that you can do with a friend that you know that plays magic is what I'm trying to say. I'm not trying to roast you guys or anything like that. But so if you have a, so the way it works is we're gonna have to take these six packs and we're basically gonna draft it. Now if you've drafted before, you know that usually you draft with three or more people. And that you don't usually draft with six because um what ends up happening is you don't end up drafting with two because what ends up happening is, well, the reason this you don't know, is because what happens is, look, grab your lamp too. Um, you is it, up, um, it, is it up here? Yeah, it's the, it's gonna be that top card. It's not a land. It's a yeah. It's gonna be one of. The, did you was that land? This? Yeah. No, I don't know what it is though. Some okay. Something. Okay. So the, what usually ends up happening is that you end up knowing since you see all the cards, you know exactly what. Your opponent is going to a token. You know, end up knowing, or can end up figuring out um, exactly what your opponent is playing, and that's not good because it means that basically it turns into sabotage your opponent's land, or sabotage your opponent to draw um, deck, and then, so you don't really build anything. Right. And so this is a uh, uh, the format created by the Inventor of Magic. Yep. And how it works is, we're going to open all, our, all six of our packs. Yes, I know. It's sacrilege. Bear with. We're opening all our packs. These are Ixalan packs too, by the way, as you saw. Yeah. This is where my dinosaur deck from... Um, and vampires. I, That's where the dinosaurs and vampires came from. And well, vampires has some origins... That has some other stuff in it, but basically that's where the bulk of vampires and then all dinosaurs came from. More or less. So, so this is now how many cards? 45... Twice 45... Um, 90. 90, it's, cards. It's it's 90, 90 cards. It's 90 cards. And so, if you play draft before you build, you know you build a 40 card deck, which you, so you, it's three packs per person. And so, um, the way this works is that we're going to take 90 cards and we're going to shuffle, we're going to take these packs, we're going to shuffle up. Yep, we're going to pull them out of the packs and we're immediately shuffling them. We're so awesome. Anyways, sorry so, guys how I'm shuffling. I know that bothers some of you, but this is the only way I know how to shuffle a large amount of magic cards at once. So, so anyways, the way it's gonna work is we're gonna we've made this pile and then we're gonna set it out in the middle. Once he get um, usually gets done shuffling, and so the way it works is we're gonna make pot. Well, I'll explain it as we get started. But basically, we're gonna make piles and then we're gonna draft off. There should be three piles, and we're gonna draft off the piles in a specific pattern to um, provide some randomness. Well, either of us will only well, ever see about pretty half random. the cards. More or less. And so there's about, there's either, there's about six, because of Ixalan, rares and hollows are separated now, I think. So there's about six rares and hollows. Alright, so are you ready? Shuffle it once more. Okay. For prosperity. Pro posterity. Posterity. For prosperity and posterity. We're hoping to get some good mythics or something out of this. Some good rares. Okay, so how do I start this thing? So you're going to put it down, and now you're going to lay out three. One. Two. Three. So now we like sit in three piles. So you want to roll the see who goes first? Sure. Let's roll d d20, because, you know, classic magic. Yeah, 12. I have a 16. 16. So I'll go ahead and go first. So the way it works is we're going to go from my left to right here. So you're you're going to we're going to go you're going to go from your right to left, okay? So from here to here. Yes. So what we're going to do is we're gonna look at, um, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and look at this card. I'm gonna decide whether or not I want it. It's a pretty good card, but I don't think I want it yet. So if I don't want, if I don't want a pile, I'm gonna put another card on top of it like this, okay? Now I'm gonna look at the next pile. I'm very sure I don't want that card. Must be a pretty bad card. Now we'll put our card on top of it like this. Look at this card. 
I'm also very sure I don't want that card. Not because they're not good cards, but because I can't really... There's nothing really that I can build a deck over in this. So I'm going to put this here. Now I'm going to take this. Okay. So that gives me an idea of why I just pulled. So... Now it's user's turn. So he's going to look... So look at this. If, if I go go through all three piles with not, not liking what I took, I put, I put a card on each one, so then okay. I take a top card from top of the big stack. Now... Do you I'm not sure that's what I want to do yet. So I'm going to go ahead and just put a card on it. See, he's doing the same thing where he looks at both I of the cards. don't like this card. Now the difference is, is that he gets to see two cards while I get to only see one. This is an interesting card. I'm still not sure I want to build, though, with that. So, do not like this card. Do like this card, but I'm I'm still not sure I want to build. So I'm just gonna because Ixlan is very tribal based. So, so now it's my turn again, right? Okay. I think I just decided what I'm gonna do. Yes. I hope you didn't get rare. No, I did not. It is a common. Okay. So that's that, which could be something interesting I could play with. But I'm not gonna do that yet. So you can see the stacks are getting pretty big now. And so now I'm getting to look at all three. And I don't know the third card he's looking at. You can't. So there's always a card the other guy doesn't know. Huh. It's a good, pretty good card. Okay, okay so, so, so I think... What do I got here? Oh, no. I think I'm going to take this. Oh. What? Well, and so, now I take this entire stack. Did I put card on this? Yes. So now, instead, now that ends my tr um, turn. So when st I'm going to finish by putting a card to replace that original stack. So we're going to keep going. So I'm going to look. And so now he starts with by looking at this pile. So now this is a four, one, three. Okay, I'm going to take this. So I can't, now I kind of have an idea of what he's building, but I don't know that last card he saw. So does that kind of make sense? So we only, where we only see half of all the cards. Um, it's a pretty good card, actually. I could see that being useful. And I don't know what that card is. Wow, that's gonna come... I'm leaving that, but that's gonna come back and bite me in the butt. Yeah. So not a, and we, then, we're a little forgetful. In case you hadn't noticed. I'm gonna take that. And you're gonna end up taking some cards that you don't want and all that. But we're, we're gonna go ahead and build through these, and we're gonna Winston, and we're gonna fill it, and we're gonna highlight some of it, and so, we might highlight some of it, and we might not. Well, it just depends on what we do. We, if we can find the software before we put uh, upload this, we'll speed it up. Go ahead, while I'm talking. Um, but, we'll video it, and then we'll, we'll, we'll video our Winston. Oh, I have to take this. You ha What? I have to take that card. Oh, boy. I don't know what, I don't know what you're playing now. Um, you could be playing Pirates. Um, and then... We'll duel with our 40 card decks and we'll see you there. Cool. So, okay, so like, apparently, like, that's apparently a good card. Because you're just taking a moment. It's you're mythic reading rare. It. What? It is. It's mythic rare. I may have to take it just because it's mythic rare and it's really cool. Leave it. Exile up to five turns. Leave it. If it's what I think it is, leave it. You're taking a minute. I mean, I can tell it's a really, really cool card. Because you're taking a minute, you're mine, you're looking at it, you're thinking... Oh no, this is an amazing card. But you can't Like, so, it. you know how we were reading that article on, um, like, Rarity the other day? This is a real Mythic Rare card. I'm gonna have to take this because it's really, no, it's really I have that. One, I have one rare. You're driving me nuts. And this is really. How many rares do you have over there? I don't know, but this is really that good. I'll show it to you too. Oh, you pulled the boneyard parley. Why? Why? I hope you have a really slow setup deck. Honestly, that because that might alone might be what keeps me alive. Nope. 
That is such you know? a cool card. That is a real, actually a freaking awesome card. So for you guys who at home who haven't seen it, it's a sorcery for oh seven God, mana, hardly. five colorless, two black, and it's a mythic rare. And it says exile up to five target creature cards from graveyards. It, so anyone's graveyard. An opponent separates those cards into two piles. Put all cards from the ba pile of your choice onto the battlefield under your control, and the rest into their opponent's into their owner's graveyards. So basically, it allows me to reanimate a bunch of creatures. Very good card. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Are you done? Yes. Stop taking cards, like actually. I'm like, there's three cards left. I may just give you those three cards. We're gonna, just, we're gonna have a duel. Probably just once or twice. Go out the decks. Best out of three. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to Winston and all that. It's not a lot of thing you see a lot of, so it, it is something different for you to do with your friends. Um, especially if you only have one of them. We're gonna work, definitely we're gonna put some more videos on the channel. I know it's been a while. It's just life, you know? So Life gets in the way. We're, we're really busy people. Yeah. Um, we act. We play instruments. We, um... I mean, to be honest, we just aren't the type of people who have time right now to be playing Minecraft as very often. It, which is kind of silly. We have our own Minecraft channel and our own MTG channel. And we're like, oh, we don't have time to play um, these games. But as and, often as we as, like. In reality, that's the truth. We're just too busy um, these days to be doing it a lot. Yeah, but, you know, thanks so much for the support. All right, we appreciate it. We're going to work on some, doing some more work on the channel. We have an intro. We just have to get it cut, they, put together. Cut. Yeah. Um, we're hopefully gonna get some channel art up here soon. Yeah, we've I've been I've definitely we do have our own email, our own channel email. It's the three dudes trio at gmail.com. If you guys wanna check us out, send us yeah. a um, email. We love fan we love it when people send us emails. Not that we've gotten any yet, but like yeah. if you have an idea for us, it's probably always better to email it to us rather than um putting in our comments because chances are we won't see it. Um, but if you do put it in the comments, we will read the comments. We just haven't got any comments on our um, right. yeah, um, videos yet. Or if you want to like set up a game time where on uh, like Hypixel or something, if you want to play with us, um, email us. Don't just put it in the comments. We're more than happy to play with you guys. Yeah, we're not we're not that big, and we're just like you know, hi guys, we're um, cool with you. I mean, yeah, if we it's were, not like you know, we're here to build a community in the morning where we live. Right, we'll do it. We're here to build a community, not just a channel. Yeah. So if you have a game you want, a uh, Minecraft game you want to play with us, we have a suggestion for the channel, um, or some music you'd like to share for us for our intros or for um, background noise during our videos or something like that, um, go ahead and email it to us um, at our um, channel email. We'd real, I'd really appreciate that. I know um, Tyler would really appreciate that. I know Shrunken would really appreciate that as well. Yep. Which I'm not gonna reveal Shrunken's name yet because. Oh, we might accidentally. Always accidentally, guys. But okay, I think yeah. I'm ready. Let me just hey, hold. So on. Let me just look. Looks like my hand is pretty well shuffled up. So hopefully, not this. Like the top six cards of this aren't going to be land. I'm really going to be regretting the top six cards of this are land. So are we going to roll dice to determine those first? I got 19 lands in here. It's stupid. Beat that, buddy. Twelve. I don't know if you can see that. Jake, I got nine plus ten lands in here. Oh, stop it! I got nine plus ten lands. How many lands is that? Nineteen. Twenty-one. Oh my gosh! I got seven. So I guess I will. I'm not sure whether this deck likes to go first or second. I'm gonna assume it likes to go second because that's the way I like to go with decks like these, anyways. So you go first. That's actually not bad of a hand. Wow. What a hand. It's bold. Like, I need a, some mana, but not too much. Swamp, pass. <sighs> Draw. I hope you can see everything I'm doing here. Swamp. Is. Pass. Can't move it anywhere. You also play a swamp. And today, Steve. Yeah. We're swamp brothers. 
Forest. We're swamped. <laughs> That's when we were playing Magic in Minecraft all the time. We're swamped! <laughs> but anyways, go ahead. Tyler! We're playing what with these beautiful ammo What are you doing in my come. swamp? Or, I don't know. What are you doing? Volky, what are you doing in my swamp? I don't know. Yeah. Okay, I'll right pass. Alright. I'll play first. forest. I'm gonna tap two. I'm gonna play a Blossom Dryad. I can tap it to untap target land. You can tap it to untap target land. You can't untap it to tap target land. Is that what I said? Yes. I'm stupid. Okay, I can tap it to untap tar target land. My turn? It's a Blossom Dryad. Yes, go ahead. Damn, Blossom Dryad. Land Island. Um, I'll pass. All right. No, I'm gonna do. Play forest. Mm -hmm. I'm going to. Tap two. Mm -hmm. Play a. Exalted the miner. So in Earth's Battlefield, I explore. Now, this is an ability unique to, um... Uh, Ixalan and Rivals. I XL and RIX. Ixalan and Rivals Ixalan. that we haven't delved into yet, because I, I, we haven't used it on camera. So what it does is, I reveal the top card in my library. I put that card into my hand, if it's land. Otherwise, put a plus one, plus one counter on this creature. And then put that card back, or put it into your graveyard. So I flip over put the top card. Put it into your graveyard? Yeah, I'm not going to because it's a duress. So, because I'm gonna hold on to that. Put on, so it's a non land. So I put a plus one plus one counter on my Excel the Miner. So, where's that? Um, there's some dice here. I just see like a d4 or something. Just, just, it's not gonna get our plus one plus one counter. But, so then, I put it back on top, or, I, or if I wanted to, I can put it on my graveyard. I don't want to. Pass. Alright, so I'm gonna draw. Oh, crap. What? Nothing. I meant to do something at the end of your turn, but I didn't. Yes. I'm gonna play a mountain. Failures. Tap one. Swamp for a duress of my own. Uh, what well, uh, well, do you have to choose? Target opponent reveals his or her hand. You choose a non creature, non land card from it. That player discards that card. No! Oh, did I catch you with your life gain thing? You did catch me with my sanguine sector. Drop your hand. hand. I want to see it, man. I actually have three in my hand, so you have to choose which one is going to be the worst pain in the butt for you. Con? Okay, so I should have with my boss and dried, to be honest. Destroy target creature. Create two colorless target artifact creature tokens with... That's a great card. Yes, I actually love a contract killing. Yeah. People say it's not that good in standard, but I think that if you play it right, it could be very good in standard. Because right now, the standard is sitting on Marianne. a gold mine of treasure tokens, right? Right. So that's a five drop, right? Play right cards, it actually is a four drop. Now, it's not great with like Ronas in the meta right now, but. I'm not so worried about that because I don't know. I think you don't have anything. I don't think you have any trample creatures. I am afraid of that because if you get that thing out with that thing, it's gonna be scary. Um, is that all? I think I, I do want to get rid of this because it's gonna come back. It's just gonna come back to bite me in the butt. Okay, that's a frustrating. Okay, so there's your hand back. My turn. My turn. Yes, I will okay. pass. So I'm gonna draw. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tap one. Play Duras my own. In response. Wow. In response, because this is the card I care about and I don't want you discarding it, I'm gonna Depths of Devo Desire. Your really? Blossom Dryad. My Blossom Dryad. Yes. Cool. So. They make trick token. make a trick token. Then I get to see your hand. So return target creature to your hand, create a colorless creature artifact token with tap it, sacrifice this artifact, add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Okay. So unlucky for you, I only have one card you can discard. It's this fire cannon blast. Everything else is a creature or a swamp. Or, or, or a land. It's a creature or a swamp, which is also a land. Interesting. What? So yeah, go ahead and discard that. But I let me hold let me look at your hand. 
think about what you can do here. I think it's scary, man. Things are gonna get scary. Um. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Good. So I'm gonna draw. Ew. Wait, no, wait. I'm sorry. Did I say go ahead? Yes. I meant pick up your hand. Oh. So I'm gonna tap three. I'm gonna fight my Blossom Dragon. <laughs> I'm gonna swing at you for one. Why not? I'll take it. I'm at 19. I'm going to I draw. gotta put some land damage on you because someone's gotta do something. So, I'm gonna play sad. a swamp. I'm going to tap five. I'm gonna play this very nice Deadeye Plunderer. Yeah, what it's is a 4-4. Four, four. Four. Because it gets plus one, plus one for each artifact I control. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this D12 and put one of these on it. Is that all? Keep your friends close and your enemies within range. Within in range of burn spells. It uh, burn spells. Yes, I'll pass. Okay. <laughs> hand. So... You obviously can't swing at this point. Because that would be not suicide. true because you forgot I have a contract killing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and contract killing that. Yes. So I get two treasure tokens. Yes. So can I have my two treasure tokens? Uh, okay. here. Use these. Two. No, there's one. Do we have two? Yeah, we do. Okay. Here's your two treasure tokens. Treasure. Okay. Treasure tokens. Now I'm gonna switch for three. I'll take it. Go ahead. I'm gonna draw. Ooh. 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 So I'm going. Can you see my treasure tokens, guys? Yeah, you can. Okay. It's getting intense. Because, like, in limited, car, the, this playstyle is different. Because big cards like a Belligerent, right? Baratodon, which you two know I have in my hand. For the Dire Fleet Hoarder. Oh, when it dies. Yeah. Hmm. My turn? Uh huh. Wow. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is this really seven? Wow, that's expensive. So, but you have enough to cancel. Obviously. Yes. But the question is, do you actually have cancels in your deck? Judging by the cancel sitting over there, you're, over there you're not supposed to see I that. I assume you said you have, it's no. <laughs> now the question is, is it, do you have another countering card? The answer is probably no, because I've seen everything you've played, actually. You can't have one, because I know your hand. So I am going to probably cast Well, I did this. just draw. Yeah. I'm going to tap this, and then sacrifice my treasure tokens for a belligerent brawl to because I'm probably not going to use those treasure That makes me sad. That so, makes me belligerent sad. belligerent brawl to so now I'm swinging at you for four. Five, six. I will block like that. This does not die. No, wait. Each creature you control. Wait, stop. Wait, wait, wait. What? Each creature you control. No, no, no. Stop. Just swing to the exalted the I thought it said all creatures. Uh, no, you swung. No, 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 no. I thought it said no, all No, no, you swung. No, take your baggies. Okay, that's fine. And I'll take the. How much damage have I taken? Three plus one plus that four, right? What? Three plus one plus four. Yes? Yes? Um, what? Three plus one plus four. Three plus one plus four is... Eight. So, twelve. Alright. So that dies. I take the th that. My turn? Now you get another treasure token, by the way. Yeah. I love all this treasure token art. The guy... Kudos to the guy who did the treasure token art. They did a really good job. Um, who is it? Um, Mimi Voy Charon. I think I'm pronouncing that right. I don't know who that is, but he works for Wizards, obviously, and he's not American. Cause that's not an American name. So it sounds French, honestly. Okay, I don't think I don't know if this is how the stack works, cause you know the stack better than I. Okay, do. let's see it. But I'm gonna give it a shot. Gonna tap two for a Fathom Fleet Firebrand. Okay. 
Okay. And then I'm going to pass. That's it. Okay. Untap. Mm -hmm. No, wait. Wrong? No, I tapped that wrong. Sorry. No, now no, no, no. You made me pick up the block. Yeah, I know. I'm kidding. So there. I'm going to tap. Please tell me there's something good here. I'm going to tap two for another Exalted Diviner. So I get to look. It's a land. Pretty useless. I'm concerned. Because you have that. It's a 0 3, so that deals 3 3. Okay. Is that so all? Basically. Um, so I put it in my hand. It's basically a 3 3. You have basically have a 4 4 and a 3 3. Um, there's so much land on this deck. Um, so basically, I'm sitting here, I'm thinking, what can you have in your hand with Fathom, Fathom Fleet Firebrand that can kill my belligerent Bratadon? Belligerent. Yeah. Because words are big in MTG. I mean, it deals six, and that's just a two. So I rather wait and block, or do I risk the fact, knowing that you have two treasures, I'm going to you probably some riot. I mean, either way, you can probably smite it. So am I better off way of making you swing? And then swinging back through? Because I'll get a ton more out of it if I swing back through. But if I swing through with everything now, I'll lose the belligerent Brontodon, probably. See, I'm just gonna pass. Okay, I'm gonna draw. Okay, what's your life? Oh, I could have made it a bunch bigger, but you probably would have done something to it. What's your life? So, me? I'm still at 20. You're at 12? I'm actually doing okay. Perfect, okay. I have no good deck. Wait. I have no good deck. So, like... We're wait. just, like, we're statistically determining everything. One, two, three, four... All the time we've spent doing this. It's been an hour. About crazy long video. Yeah. I'll, I'll cut it down. Don't we'll we'll split into two parts or something. Because, you know. Um, and plus, we're going to cut out a lot of the Winston. Right. It is late, though. Um, so, but... We're going to try a Minecraft video tonight, too, today, I guess. So, just be aware of that. We're sitting here just like thinking. Thinking. These are beautiful ammo cat lands too. We got them from a box. We're actually going to do a draft in the week, and Jacob wants some extra lands. A bunch of we have both want extra land actually, because we were running out of lands normally anyways. But these are pretty lands. I love the ammo cat lands, despite the fact that I don't like this block at all. Because you know the story. Hashtag bad plot. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag bad plot. But lands are gar gorgeous. I'm gonna pass. Now you're making me really nervous. Why now do I get a planes when it's not doing me any good? So I could actually really screw you up. Wait. No, I only I'll have the blossom dryad. So, can you kill my belligerent Gibraltar? If I tap four and play the merchant growth on it, no. <laughs> can you destroy it? No. Can you exile it? No. Are you bluffing? No. <laughs> Good. This is gonna. I knew this was gonna come back and bite you somehow. Cause I can swing at you with this. In response, he's declaring attackers. What? Tap four. Wait. So first, I'm gonna set. I'm gonna tap this and sacrifice it. And in response to sacrificing it, I'm gonna tap two and sacrifice it again. Using a costly plunder. If you do that, you're not getting the land out. You're not getting the mana out of it. We'll tap it and sacrifice the artifact. And then... In, Wait, what? Tap it and sacrifice it. So this is on the stack. Then in response to it being sacrificed, I'm going to sacrifice it. But then it. it leaves the stack. Uh, 
Oh. Wait. <laughs> that leaves the Okay, that, so that how that I want to play this stack. is I tap two, costly planner, sacrifice turn. In response to it being sacrificed, it, I tap it and sacrifice it again. Then, well, then you're not paying for its costly plunder cost. Well, I'm sacrificing it twice. Once to no, this. No, it sacrifices it. You sacrifice it. So it goes away, and this begins to resolve. Well, you haven't paid its cost yet. You, well, you, I have. Sure I have. I've paid for it by sacrificing this. But I'm sacrificing it twice. I, if this is wrong, someone scream at me from in the comments. Eternal screaming. I can just <laughs> scream. I can just see it right I now. I have a feeling the this is probably... in someone's head. Screams internally. I, I have a feeling this is probably... There's some way, shape, or form is legal, but you can, I don't think you can prove it. Because I have a feeling there's something wrong with my logic here, but I'm pretty sure you'll agree with me when I say, so I sacrifice it, and then in response to it being sacrificed, I sacrifice no, it No, there's something very much wrong with that. Because I know I've done it where I've blocked the creature before that I was gonna die, like a 1-1 vampire token, and then like, oh, by the way, costly plunder it. But I don't think it sacrificed something, and then in response to sacrificing it, sacrifice it again. It's not like a Sensei's Divining Top. You're doing the same thing to it twice. And you can't do it. If it's going to leave the battlefield, you can't do it again. Bummer. Um. Sorry. But the sacrifice effect is on the stack. Oh, well, I'll just sacrifice my other treasure. Um. So it's not nearly... I'll just sacrifice your creature and call it quits. Don't be a butt. <laughs> I'm screaming at you for 11. I'm not done, even done declaring attackers. Swing me for four, bud. I'll draw two while I'm at it. Wait, Jacob. Yeah, I I I did it in response to you swinging. So it goes on the stack before you swing. No. Thanks. No, no. Wait, what? In response to me swing. Bef so it happens before you swing. So these two are no longer legal attackers. But you tapped on your mana. Transferring at you with this one. Oh, that's fine. I'm at what? You got an eight. Pass. That's ridiculous. This goes away. So I draw. Play. That was a good play. That. Um. Thank you. Thank you. Don't kill it. So Don't I'm gonna kill swing with the dream caller. I'll take it. Okay. Don't kill it. Tap five. Stormfleet arsonist. Sacrifice something. I'll sacrifice this plan. The 3-3. Three, three. You're gonna bone your entirely all my stuff! Is that all? Yes. Is that 4-4 four, four and a 2-2? Two, two? I need to bone- I need to, Yeah, I do need to bone it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Actually, ooh. Okay. So, I'm swinging at you with the belligerent Barantodon and Ixali's Mire. Oh, I know you're gonna have some sort of power spell. I, I, I'm, I'm swinging at you with both, because it'll, this will kill you. Will it? It's, I'm at 8. Yeah, and this is 6, and this is 4. That is true. Um, so I have to block. Yes. Block like that. Block like that. Get the most out of my creatures I can. So you're trading this. Yes. I want to make sure some of that damage goes through, so I'm going to tap 2 slash talents. What does it do? I deal 2 damage to target attacking or blocking creature! So now I'm at 2. That's good. Not good. And that dies, and this dies. But you're probably gonna bone your probably all my stuff. Oh, there's the stuff. Draw. Crap. That's bad. Oh, wait. No. That's awesome. That's really good. Um, yeah, you have the mana. No! Shoot! What? <sighs> I need. It costs 2 red mana! What costs 2 red? Oh! The Angrath Marauders! It costs 2 okay, red mana! Okay, great. So what else are you doing? You don't have Boneyard Parley in your hand. I do not. I, that looks so much like Boneyard Parley. It's stupid. It's a spreading rot. I th from over here, it looks I'll like a I'll make you destroy your only planes because I'm a jerk. Rude. I'll swing Actually. with the flyer and I'll see. <laughs> because they're... I'll... Oh, that's a lot at land. Oh, oh then come was, on! It wasn't gonna matter. <laughs> but I'm gonna swing at you with the blood trip. I can't believe I won that day. I had the game. I have the worst deck ever. Like, this is actually Apparently, a really you bad don't. Deck. Apparently, I do. No, that was so luck. I this was on the bottom of my deck. If I had had that, you would have been screwed. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Like, look. 
I you got rid of the thing was I just even if I had you had made me keep the that rare the one rare I've got in my deck you made me discard it even if I kept it it would have done me any good because I wasn't drawn into the mana yeah best two out of three me and videos an hour long anyway so we might as well. This is so stupid. If I lose this game, I'm gonna be so mad. I have not won game. a single game on camera. No, <laughs> not, not, not because I can't see. Not that I can off think camera. Of. I can't see the one more off camera, but on camera I do fine. It's like the lock of the camera or something. That was a great swing too. I guess. Statistically speaking, eventually I'm gonna win one on camera, but I want to do it so badly. <laughs> you want to prove to the fans that you're actually good at Magic the Gathering. Because it's not even like I, ha I've won a I have lost a set. I've lost every single game I've played. Well, we haven't played that many on camera. We've like... Only and you did win one, but it was the best two out of three. And no. So what are you thinking of? Um, Dinosaurs versus no. Vampire. Vampires beat me twice in a row. No, you because we, we went to three games. Yeah, we did. We went to three games on one, at least one, which means you had to have some. I game. guess we'll check. I guess but we'll like have to check overall, the video. you're losing more games. I guess I'll have to check Just the video because <clears throat> I'm better. Guys, see, leave a like if you think I'm a better Magic player than Tyler is, and subscribe is. if you think I'm a better Magic player than Jacob is, <laughs> or do both if you think we're even. It's really, it's really he's better than I am. I, I'll admit but leave it. a like anyway. People like it anyway. Okay. It's not very so often I play limited. I'm happy with this deck. It's just terrible. <laughs> Same. <laughs> we're, re we're really even. Because we both have really bad decks. That's, okay, that's it. That's what we're thumbnailing it. Really even, because really, both really bad decks. Really even, really bad decks. Really even, really bad decks. How, no... How to make really bad decks with third for thirty bucks or less? It's called a Winston draft. Like the shortest Minecraft, you shortest YouTube video on MTG ever, right? Two, four, five, six, seven. Deck tech and deck tech worst decks ever for thirty bucks or less. Does the winner want to choose who goes first? No, just roll. You got one. Of course I did. Who you got twelve last time? Yeah, statistically Seven. speaking, that makes sense. <laughs> statistically speaking. That actually, it doesn't make sense at all, because you have a one... It makes about as much sense as normal, because it's a one twelfth of chance every roll, so it doesn't matter. The I know, but really a 12 statistically is one. speaking, if you roll a die enough number enough times, it comes out to a specific number. Like, if you roll a die ten times, it's going to be pretty random. If you roll a die about... Say, ten thousand times. Um, eventually, and this is all um, role-playing um, statistics here. Eventually, it's going to come out to. Well, it's the half. It's the number of sides on the die divided by two plus point five. So it's about six point five. True story. Great, but this is Magic the Gathering, not statistics. Yeah, we don't we don't roll the twelve sided die um, ten thousand times for here science. at um, three dudes for science. We roll once each to determine who goes first. <laughs> Thank you for that. And now back to the regular programming. <laughs> oh my god! All right, you go first. What if I don't want to go first? What if I want you to go first? Wait, do you want me to go first? I do want you to go first. Okay. Because I'm full of trouble, like... Look at my hand. I'm thinking this hand is crud. Wow. I'm going to put it back in here. So this is going to be a long video. Because <laughs> we're mulliganing and I'm still shuffling. My deck has the perfect number of lands in it. Perfect number I of spells. I will spell. keep this hand. Perfect number of creatures. Because and look at what cool. it does. It's 
Its build must be off somewhere. Like, its ramp build must be off somewhere. I like the Prosperous Pirates. Prosperous Pirates. Very good cards. Look I am so happy with the charge on these batteries. I know. That one video, though, where we ran out of... Space? Space? That was weird. Sorry, yeah, I still don't know what happened with that, guys. Um, I thought we had more room on that. Well, it's it's because it was recording to the internal memory. Not to that. Oh, wow, really? Card. Yes. That explains a lot. That's why this... It, well, sorry, guys, we're talking about... Um, I'm the editor-in-chief here at 3 Dudes. Yep, yeah, see, guys... This is how new and how novice we are. We're editing our own videos. Mind blown. Probably will do it for um, a yeah, while. Yeah, I'm gonna do it for a while. Why pay someone to edit something when I can just do it myself? I'm sure, the software is curvy, but okay, who cares? I'm just looking my cards. That that thing that you see on another show, which I can't name because copyrights. But one, two, three. Oh, eight. I can do it. I can flick my wrist. So this is my hand. Will you let me draw another card? No. Scry. Leave that on the top of my deck. Cool, go first. Play a mountain and pass. I'm gonna draw. It is a swamp, yes! Tap one. Light keeper. Early, early 1-1 one, one flying. My turn? Yeah. I will draw. Play a swamp. Tap two for the Dire Fleet Hoarder. So now, not only does it do two mo more damage than your stupid Blight Keeper, and when it dies... Yeah, well, if I play something with more toughness. <laughs> a Skyblade of Legion, it's got flying. It's the 1 3. So we got a 2 for 1. I'll take it. I'm at 19. Well, won't show me that with your die. Thank you. I sir. assume that's all you're doing? Yeah. Playing a mountain. I am going to tap one. Don't duress me. Yes, I'm duressing you. Frick it! <laughs> you have it in your hand again, don't I you? I do have it in my hand again. That's though, that new title for the video. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Sangry Sacrament killed by duress. Every time. Solitude and star starvation are brutal punishments, but even worse is this time to think. That the time to think that I actually could have played that this game. Yeah, you could have. That might have actually been my saving grace this game. We'll have to see. But and then I've also got a Colossus Gemma and a Slash of Talents. You could have, you could get rid of the Slash of Talents. Why do you think I care about the Slash of Talents? I don't know because it lost you that last game. No, I didn't. That was just bad luck on my part in general. Pass. Yeah, this is pain in the butt. Let's wait at you for one again. Aim at 18. See if I really need to, I can sacrifice the Blight Keepers. I'm gonna draw. Two dead. I gotta get the mana up first. Because it's so expensive. Oh, that's incredible. That's incredible. It yes. withers fruit and flesh alike. It's like a fruit bat. So I am going to swing with the Dire Flea Quarter. What if I take it? Wouldn't that be a shame? I'm gonna take it. Okay. You're an 18. <laughs> Why would you take it? Because I know you're gonna bring it back. How do you know I'm gonna bring it back? Because I'm awesome like that and you're showing me your hand. <laughs> Great. That's nice. Tap three. Higher Fonts Chalice. You lose one life. I gain one life. So That's such a stupid card to have in there. It's vampires! It's the pussy vampires! Of course we will play a higher Fonts Chalice! I know, but it's not vampires. It's blue, green, black something. White, green, black something. White, green, black. White, green, black, like, meh. <laughs> it's just bleh! <laughs> it's just a deck of bleh. It's it just goes bleh! <laughs> Go ahead. You didn't swing. Oh, well, it's tap, so I am swinging. I'll take it. I guess. <laughs> Well, you forgot to untap it, so technically, no, no, I'll, I'll live with it. This game is not going to be so straight-faced as the last one, which was stupid, belligerent, broad. This that. is limited, guys. It's supposed to have a little humor. It's, we're going to have a little fun with this one, because the last one was way too serious. Captain obviously. A. Obviously. Crew. 
So four three with tap three four three color no! one red. Gain control of target creature and opponent controls since the end of the turn. Untap it. It gains haste until end of turn. Activate the ability only any time you can cast a sorcery. It only works on my turn, but it's really good. And draw. No, I'm swinging with the dire fleet hoarder. Now I'm blocking the sky of legion, so you can't bring it straight back. <laughs> Why? Treasure token. Ah. Why exactly can I bring it straight back? Because now your man's tapped. You'll bring it back next turn, but you won't be able to use your captivating crew. Unless you play another mana, which you probably have. I don't plan on using my captivating crew anyway. We'll play forest, finally. I'm swinging at you for two. I'll take it. I'm at 14. My turn. I'm at 19, right? My turn. No, wait, wait, what am I doing? No, stop, wait. Dude, you did what you did. Yeah, I have a play. You get what you get, and you don't throw, throw a fit. Play an island. Top five. For this guy, it's the Prosperous Pirates. I get to create two more treasure tokens. What? Now, if only I can get re get out that black-blue thing. It's gonna be a 6-6. Six, six. <laughs> it's gonna be huge. No! Is that all? Um... Yeah, I'll swing with this guy. It's 40. I'll take it. I'm at 15. I made a mistake. Rookie mistake. I had a play. I could have made it. My turn? Yeah. Be my guess. Do I want to save it, though? Actually, I guess the proper thing to do is to tap 5... Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, that's actually going to be a phenomenal play. Um, so I'm going to tap five. I'm going to contract killing your prosperous pirates. Because why not? I get to create two treasure tokens. Which Here. are... Here's some forests. They can be your treasure tokens. Because nature is the real treasure, guys. You know it is. <laughs> Nature is our real treasure. <laughs> Save the earth. Hashtag something. something. <laughs> Hashtag uh, green is, is good, I guess. And that was a message from your local friendly, environmentally friendly free dude. Come yeah. back to your regular programming. I just created those. Yes. I'm stupid. I'm gonna tap like this. Uh, you are gonna take you back in. <laughs> Where? Not this game. Yeah, you did. No. You did something. No take you back in. No way. There were no take you backies. Um. I can swear you have one. There is no take you backies. No! Like it. You screwed up. You did. Did you done goofed? I done. No, I'm, this is my hand. This is my thing. Go ahead. Ooh. I have a takey backy. Yeah, you, you, you get one too, this game. But. So I'm gonna tap one for a march on the ground. Get two power cards. No! Stop! Actually, stop! And I'm gonna tap f five prosperous pirates again. Because look who's back. So I'm just going to take my treasure token and mark it with a five because it's way easier oh than trying to gosh. go square it up. Stop. Why? Dude. Why? Why me? <laughs> Chill. Chill. And I am tempted to use these, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to swing for the four. Okay, I'm blocked sky by the legion. Oh, crap. Then I'm going to tap one slash talenter captivating crew to deal it three before damage die is dealt, so they both die. No! Hey, you're welcome. Oh well. It wasn't doing me that much good anyways. My turn. I do have the five treasure tokens, so if I draw anything, you're it's getting one. ready to be sad that that died. Why? Okay, so this is seven. So what I can do this turn. Oh no, you're playing that 
Brontodon thing, aren't no, you? No, I'm just playing. Sacrifice that. It's fourth, which is actually right, because I'm playing a Colossal Dreadmaw with my extra mana. Oh, it's a 6 6. The Trample! It's pretty good. My turn? Don't make me put it back in my hand, though. My turn? <laughs> Don't make me my, put it back in my turn. Hand. No, it's gonna be fun. Take it. I'm at 13. At the 15. Don't kill it! Don't. Actually, don't kill it. Please. <laughs> Please. No, I won't kill it. Don't put it back in my hand either. No, I'm not putting it back in your hand either. Don't do something to it! Tap 2 for the Dire Fleet Hoarder. Okay. You have the thing that. It's bigger! I'm gonna hijack it. What? <laughs> What? So it has haste. Untap it. So Six. not only are you not gonna be able oh you will be able to attack with it. I have nine. And you're gonna deal with nine. That's actually okay. But hijacking it? Why? Do, do, I'll do, take that. Do, do, do. I'll take that because I have no choice. I go down four. Four? Four. Four. There's nothing. You, you can't actually do enough. I'm thinking. I can't do enough right now. Is no, it's my turn. Can I have my Trail Hustle Dread Ball back, please? I, I, I don't know. I just kind of like it. I just want to sit here for a little bit longer and stare at it. And, and like, how you, I don't know how you... How smile you, at it gently. I have a question. How does one go about hijacking a Colossal Dread Ball? You see what I did? I have these... I, I have the saddle. And I take the saddle and I yell, YOLO! And I grab the saddle like this, and I run at the dragon. Or, it's not they a can't dragon. see what you're doing. It's a dinosaur. Hands. I run like this, holding the saddle, and I jump on it and do like this awesome belly slide on the saddle, down a hill, up into the air, and onto the back of the colossal dragon. And stick it, stick the well, saddle. Why are assuming that there's someone riding the colossal dragon? Do you just like hit them? Yes, I, I hit them, and they go sprawling because I'm going at such high speed. That was an interesting picture. I was kind of awesome. <laughs> That's how you hijack a Colossal Dreadmaw, and it only costs three mana to do it. Is it my turn? You'd think it would cost a lot more, but it doesn't. <laughs> my turn? Yeah. Full oh, another land. Um, uh, you swinging? The 13. Yeah, I'll swing with the Colossal Dreadmaw. I will receive the damage. Cool. I am at what? Thirty-seven. Is that all? Yep. I'm going to draw. Don't kill me this turn. Watch me. Watch me do it. This is gonna be so great. Swing. Is that five? It is. No. Blocking. Yeah, it's. I'm blocking that with my white keeper. Okay. You receive two damage. Yep. Now, in response to it dying. In response to it dying? Interesting. Are you doing something in response to it dying? No. Uh, do you, are you going to do something if I do something in response to it dying? Crap. Are you going to do something in response to it dying? This is bad. This is bad. Are you going to do something in response to me responding to it dying? Are you? <sighs> no. I should have cast this earlier. <laughs> yes! Okay, so I'm gonna tap 8 and tap it in response to it dying because I'm blocking with it so I can get away with this. So I can sacrifice it to make you lose for a life and gain for a life. I'm at so three. it dies and yeah. I pick up for life and you dealt me too, so I go back to 6. Three. No! Oh. Just yeah. out of range! Can we back up and show them what should have happened? Because you're going to kill me next turn regardless. If you see how we play out the rest of the game like normal, we can back up and show you what happened. Show me what. Yes, we can do that. So I was here, like this, and you can untap. And just... So we're going backwards. Okay, we're just going backwards in time, guys, to show you what should have happened. Because I'm an idiot. I'm at four. I have this amazing card called Spreading Rot in my hand. I was thinking I was going to be macho and use it after my swing. Should have used it before. No. 
Okay, so see, so there's still, you still got the same problem. No, because you don't have enough land. I have an artifact. Oh, are you kidding me? I had it out. I had it out. <laughs> you had it out. You had to freak it out. Yes. The next card, the fire shrine keeper. Needed that. Do you really have a bad cast today? But take you do what you need. Yeah, to do with it. I needed that card badly. A lot earlier. Yeah. You know. What? Yes. I was like. I was like, the white keeper worked. So, okay, so now let's go back to what we were doing. Which yes. is, I'm at six and you're at three. Yes. I'm getting ready to die. And then you're I'm doing still what? still passing this. What are you destroying? Which one are you destroying? Um, the green one. Because I know it's the most annoying because I saw what's in your hand. But <sighs> this doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm going to draw. Wow. I wish I could cast both of these now. <laughs> I wish I had done that because I drew an Ixal the I would like to go out with no cards in my hand for once. But, so, that's fine. I'm gonna tap. You can have more of my turn. I'm just gonna go ahead. If you want. Well, we did seed, so. You're, okay. you're gonna have one of my treasure tokens if you want. I don't I don't need them anymore. I'm gonna die. <laughs> you can't trade treasure with you to heaven, man. Little tear. Dab my face. You're making this hurt just because you said that. <laughs> you're making it. You're making me hurt. I'm not even. It's not even about the fact that I'm winning the game. It's just what you said. <laughs> I thought you can't take treasure to heaven. That actually was like what? <laughs> it's a little Whoa. accurate. It's kind of accurate though. But yeah, you could have my treasure. I'm tapping seven. <laughs> I'm playing a belligerent brought to dawn. How much treasure do you need to cast whatever you had in your hand? Just one. So that's going away. And then I'm going to tap to sacrifice this. Exali Divider. Look. Like, you can have as much as you I want. I should have cast the Exali. I could have cast the Exali Divider first. Because it's a, it's a forest. So I can play that now. So I'm going to have an extra band tapped. I could have gone completely tapped out to end the game. But I'm just going to gloss switch up on kill you. So stupid. I can't win a single game out of here. I can't win. You've won one. I know you've won one. I'm going back to check that view. I'm pretty sure I did not want to see You won the first one. Like, I'm pretty sure that's like, one. like, just dropped in. It was like, hi, by the way, this is Dinosaurs. Which is, which is, a, it was a good showing of Dinosaurs. And what it's going to do, what it did in there doesn't exhaust. Oh, maybe I did win one. You did win one. But then I came back and slop, slapped you twice, twice with vampires. In a row. Go, by the way, you guys should go out and check out that video because it's actually a hilarious video. It was a great video. Because I was this one's pretty funny too, though, in my opinion. This is great, but I'm a little, sorry. I'm a little, I'm a little um, hyped up right now. I had a cup of kombucha earlier today. Good we'll get stuff. Into, that's um, that's beyond the point. But anyways, that video was hilarious. I won twice, really stupidly. But this, I, I yeah, that that, know, that, that was so good about winning in stupid ways. Ooh, I should rebuild it <sighs> again because we you're getting so many vampires. So yeah. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Three <laughs> Dudes. Um, we hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment on what what we should do next, whether Please it's between Magic that. or Minecraft. Please. Or whatever. Um, we love any kind of suggestion. Um, hi guys, thank you so so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Comment below what else you'd like to see on the channel. Have a long or have. I guess, hope you enjoyed the rest of your day. See you around.